Hello everyone. I am myself Dr. Rajesh Gubba. I am the general medicine educator on an academy. I welcome you all to this clinical sign of the day. So before going ahead with the session, let me just tell you about the updates from an academy. An academy has come up with these important batch courses that is mission INI CT 2021 batch, clinical examinations and procedures batch, target next 2022 batch, target next integrated batch 2023. So in order to get subscribed to these batch courses, you can use my code that is live med, wherein you will get an additional 10% discount on your subscriptions. Having said this, let me come to the clinical sign of the day. So the question is, site of lesion for the development of this particular sign, right? So let me just show you the video first. So what is that you're observing there? You're observing the palate and as well as the uvula. Yes, now you can observe clearly. Right, so that is the clinical sign. You have to identify where will be the site of lesion for the development of that particular sign. The options are Sharon's triangle, triangle of Guillain and Molaret, Hazelbach's triangle, Trotman's triangle. So first of all, you should be able to identify what exactly is the sign you have observed. That particular sign observed is palatal myoclonus, right? It is palatal myoclonus. And for the development of the palatal myoclonus, the site of lesion, it is in the triangle of Gillian and Molaret. Now, you may get a doubt, what is this triangle of Gillian and Molaret? Let me just show you. See, this is a triangle of Gillian and Molaret. How is it formed? It is a triangle which is formed between the red nucleus, then the dentate nucleus and the olivary nucleus. So, when there is lesion at this Gillian Molaret triangle, then there will be development of this palatal myoclonus. And palatal myoclonus, what are the etiologies? It is seen in autosomal dominant cerebellar ataxia or oligoponto cerebellar atrophy. These are the clinical conditions where you can have palatal myoclonus. And it is the involuntary movement which can be present even during sleep as well. And we have two forms of palatal myoclonus. One is essential palatal myoclonus and the other one is symptomatic palatal myoclonus. In case of essential palatal myoclonus, what exactly is the cause is not known. But for symptomatic palatal myoclonus, right, the etiologies include vascular lesions, tumors, trauma and as well as encephalitis. And one point is that you should know what are the muscles which are involved for the development of this palatal myoclonus. In case of essential palatal myoclonus, it is tensor villi palatini which is involved, whereas in symptomatic palatal myoclonus, it is levator villi palatini which is involved. And these are some of the differences between essential and as well as symptomatic palatal myoclonus. Now, the point is, what are the various drugs used for the treatment of the palatal myoclonus? These are the list of drugs. We can use clonazepam or carbamazepine, baclofen, anticholinergic drugs, tetrabenazine, valproic acid, phenytoin, lamotrigine, sumatriptan. Either of these drugs can be used in the treatment of the palatal myoclonus. So, very important multiple choice question. The site of lesion for the development of the palatal myoclonus is triangle of Gillian and as well as the molarate, right? And it is a triangle formed between the red nucleus, inferior olivary nucleus and dentate nucleus, right? The lesion can be even within the central tegmental tract for the development of this palatal myoclonus, right? Now, having said this, let me discuss what is the homework of the day. Homework of the day is what is the afferent and efferent of palatal reflex? Right? So, please answer that in the comment box. I will revert back to you with the correct answers. Having said this, let me just wind up the session by informing you the limited time offer from an academy. That is, the prices on an academy have drastically reduced. You can use this particular advantage by using my code that is LiveMed, wherein you will get an additional 10% discount on your subscriptions. Let me wind up this session and see you again in the next clinical sign of the day. Thank you very much.